All right, Monday, March 29th, situation update. Mike Adams here. Thank you for joining me. We have a lot of serious topics to go over today. Uh, things are getting very, very bad out there when you have a shoe company like Nike releasing Satan shoes that have a drop of human blood in their soul. <laughs> you know, get it? Get, get the wordplay? It's in the soul of the shoe. It's a drop of human blood. They're only selling 666 pairs. This is Nike in conjunction with a homosexual black rapper named, what is this, Lil, Lil Nas. Uh, Lil Nas, like as in nasty, I guess, who is a homosexual who in a video, I've been told, is depicted as fornicating with Lucifer. And so Nike thinks that this is a great idea to sell these tennis shoes in America. It's all filled with satanic imagery. There's like some kind of pentagon, pentagram, I don't know, demon uh, star image on the front of it. They're more robust. The, the virus-specific antibodies, the specific ones, they're more robust and they outcompete your non-specific natural immune antibodies. So in this case, you do have some natural non-specific antibodies in there that could handle any one of the variants. But the problem is these guys are bullies. They're bigger. They're stronger. They, they're more you know, specific and they're ready to do their job. So if Y gets the ball and starts coming around, our non-specific antibodies are gonna wanna jump in there, unfortunately, our vaccine induced is going to push this out of the way and become a blocker to make sure that that antibody or that that virus gets all the way in and wins and gets the touchdown and could possibly leave you dead. This vaccine is bullying away your remaining natural immune system. You do have these, but they're never going to work again that we can't even comprehend. So this, of course, triggers a lot of alarm. One of the guys who talks about this is Elon, who uh, says things like this, like, when you do this, beware, because you think, just like the guy in the stories, that when you do this, you're going to put that, that, that little guy in a pentagram, and you're going to have your holy water out, and you're going to wave it at the thing, and by God, it's going to do exactly what you say and not one thing more, but it never works out that way. So uh, this, is an, this is an attitude that some are having, this emerging alarmism about the way this is going to go. But this, these words, demons, doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here. Uh, I don't know if any of you are uh, turn-of-the-century weird fiction fans, but there's this guy named H.P. Lovecraft, who's a very famous American weird fiction author. And he exposed a, a view which is called cosmicism. And the essence of cosmicism is cosmic indifference. So he, what he was saying is basically, yes, there are these massively intelligent entities out there, but they're not good, they're not evil. They just don't give a shit about you even in the slightest. The same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons. They're not evil. The same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning in, and these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons. They're not evil, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want.